JD Tools here. Today we're going to be talking about the Klein Tools CL700 meter. I will tell you that I've used different meters before in the past. Uh, mainly field piece. Some people prefer fluke. Uh, fluke and field piece are top of the line units. You may be watching this video uh, to see if it's worth it to buy a budget friendly meter and not spend a bunch of money on it. And I will tell you straightforward that this meter exceeds all my expectations and I'm extremely happy with this meter and I would highly recommend it. I think it is well worth the cost, which is a lot cheaper than a lot of the other units. Uh, I will be talking about the different settings to use in different applications. And I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into some of the features that it has. Uh, rubber gripping. It has rubber gripping. I, I found out that the rubber gripping is so helpful to have. Uh, down here in the south, you have a lot of heat. Uh, you tend to get sweaty a lot. You're not supposed to use these when, they're, when it's really wet outside or anything like that. Just keep that in mind. Uh, but I do find that the rubber gripping here, it has little ribs on it where it makes it easy to hold. Uh, just, I love that rubber gripping. I don't know why a lot of other manufacturers do not recommend this or install these on their units. Uh, to me, this should be a standard. Uh, also, I'm going to go ahead and get into the light here. Light button is easy to push. Uh, it's in a, it's in a nice, nice, easy area. You just push it in, push it out, and you got your light. Uh, also, I will say that uh, if you accidentally leave, leave it on a setting and you put it back in its uh, case, which I highly recommend, and I'll get into that here in a minute. Um, if you leave it on a setting and you forget to turn it off, it will beep at you and it will let you know uh, that you did leave it on and it does save your battery life. It's another feature that I like about it. Uh, magnet. You can buy this magnet separate on Amazon. I really like this magnet. Uh, just I use this magnet all the time for all kinds of situations. Screws on the back. You got a vel Velcro strap where you can pull it off and on. Uh, it really comes in handy. Really like uh, that extra feature that uh, Climb Tools offers. Uh, let's see here. We got your temperature clamp. I'll go ahead and get into that here in a minute. You can get temperature. Uh, let's say on your suction line or your discharge line on an AC unit, say you want to get your subcool superheat, uh, this unit does it all. Volts, I'm going to go ahead and start off with the different settings here. Uh, I know that when I first started, I didn't know what settings to use and for different applications. And I'm going to go ahead and describe what settings that I like to use a lot or that I normally use a lot of the times on this meter. And... Uh, how, how to use it basically because uh, a lot of these different settings can become pretty confusing uh, volts pretty standard you want to check your voltage in the socket you stick the leads in there you get your voltage uh, amps let's say you want to check your amperage on a fan motor on an AC unit you look at the nameplate uh, you see what it's supposed to be pulling you also have a rubber grip here too makes it nice and easy you wrap this around the, uh, the wire that you want to get your amperage on. You clamp it around. The wire is going to be right, right inside of here. It gives you a nice amperage reading. I found that to be uh, no problems there. Continuity. The continuity setting is the volume looking icon right here. And you may want to check the continuity, let's say on a heating element, on an electric hot water heater. Or you may want to check your continuity on a fuse. Uh, just different things, you can check your continuity. And what you do is you touch these leads first to make sure that everything's working properly and you have it on the correct setting. Uh, this is pretty standard, always check first to make sure you have it on. Uh, no problems there. Now we're gonna go ahead and go to capacitance. This is the capacitance setting right there. That's the icon for capacitance. Now if you wanna check a capacitor, let's say on a water well, say your water well pump has got a run capacitor and a start capacitor, 
you can check for capacitance with this meter so you want to check your AC capacitor same thing uh, capacitance uh, is basically a capacitor and a capacitor holds capacitance so you have it on the setting like I just showed you before you put one lead on common you put the other on let's say fan if you're checking for a uh, capacitor on an AC unit one on common one on fan you look at your nameplate see what it reads if it says plus five then you know that you're checking the right item and that would be your fan let's say you're checking uh, your herm which is also known as your compressor uh, on a capacitor you put one on common one on herm look at your nameplate on the capacitor and it'll tell you what it's supposed to read and that's how you check your capacitors and that's the setting for capacitance uh, also let's say you want to check your subcool and superheat on an AC unit you would check your Fahrenheit uh, I believe it comes with this little uh, adapter right here you take your leads out you plug your adapter in like so now the temperature clamp here that I have is the field piece I do like the field piece temperature clamp and this is something that I had left over from another unit from years ago and I just try to take good care of it and use it uh, but the field piece temperature clamp does work uh, with the Klein Tools meter just to let you know up front uh, you plug in uh, your, your temperature clamp right here uh, to your adapter and you put it on Fahrenheit right here your Fahrenheit where you can get your temperature uh, you put it around whatever you're getting your temperature on one thing that I will say is be sure that your positive your positives and your negatives all line up uh, with whatever you're using it on uh, but just be sure that all these line up uh, with the plug-in for your temperature clamp to your adapter and inside the unit be sure everything lines up that is it for the Klein Tools Multimeter. If you like this video, uh, hit the like button. If you don't like it, don't, you know, hit hit, hit the, the not like button, the thumbs down. I don't, I don't mind at all. That, that way I know that I can uh, improve on my videos and what I'm trying to do here. Uh, I, don't, I don't mind at all. I, I don't take it personally. Uh, if you see anything that I missed, which I know I missed some of the different settings here, the, these are a lot of the settings that I use that I wanted to go over and show with you guys. Uh, if some of you like certain settings on here, you have any comments or anything like that as far as these settings here, uh, leave a comment. If you've used this meter before and you have any uh, flaws with it or anything like that, let me know. Uh, I'm open for, for opinions. And uh, if you can, subscribe. I would really appreciate it. I do, or I will put a link in the description box below for the Klein Tool CL700. I highly recommend this meter. I've had this meter for going on three years, or actually over three years, and I use this meter all the time. Now, I also will say that there's a crack in the screen right here. This crack is due to my negligence, and that is from not carrying it in the case all the time. Uh, I do recommend uh, putting it in a case uh, when you're not using it, when you use it, use it and put it back in its case. And that, that's, a, that's a reason why right there. This is a very tough meter. I am extremely tough on my tools. I'm hard on my tools because I use them all the time. And it's, it's, hard, it's hard not to be. And I will tell you that this has been through uh, a lot of abuse. I'm extremely happy with it. But keep it in its case. Uh, I'll put a link in the description box uh, below for the case as well. The meter and the magnet which i do highly recommend and i'll try to get the temperature clamp in there as well uh, thank you for watching this is jd tools again have a good day